Libra, hello, beautiful souls. Thank you so much for joining me here and welcome to my table. If you guys are new here, my name is Zachary. It's nice to meet you. Pull up a chair. If you are returning, it's good to see you guys again. Thank you so much for your love and support. Pull up a chair. So Libra, let's go over your channeled messages here to start and then we'll move into the Oracle cards and tarot cards as we do. So a few things came through for you at this time, Libra. Um, the first thing that, first of all, the messages came through very layered at this time. And what I mean by that is there were several different words, phrases, images that came through all at the same time. And what that makes me feel is that there is some confusion surrounding maybe the messages you're receiving yourself. Please remember that we are all co-creators here. We are all powerful. We all have the ability to tap into messages from the divine. It is our birthright. It is our sovereignty. So as you're watching messages like this on YouTube as well, please don't forget that, okay? And I'm, I'm getting the message that you don't forget that. You do know that. But that there are messages coming through that are layered. And so it's difficult to extrapolate maybe what the actual message is because it's becoming confused with what may seem like noise, on the outside, but this is also a part of the message. So let's break it, break this down, break it down. The first thing that I was told was Dionysus. So Dionysus, central disc, discus, and armor all came through at the same time. So I'll go through this here. Dionysus, first of all, is the Greek god of wine, pleasure, and ecstasy. There is um, excess that's typically connected to Dionysus as well. Not that pleasure, ecstasy, or wine, are bad in any way. Dionysus does tend to take it to an extreme level, though, of excess, hedonistic. So with the central disc or discus, I was shown this little image, and I'll show you here just so that you can see what it looks like. It's not a symbol that was intended to be used, but um, around here. Looks like a little, I don't know, place marker or something with this line around it. So this is where armor was connected in central disc or discus. As I'm sitting on this message, meditating on this, what I'm seeing is, or hearing also like pulling yourself out of a hat, like the magician or whatever this hat symbolizes somewhere where it's dark, where it's difficult to hear, see, sense a message. So there's a request here to pull yourself from that situation with armor attached to that. I started asking questions like, a protection, is this something that you, Libra, have done for yourself, created this armor? Is it a natural armor? That sort of thing. It's starting to feel like with pulling yourself out of a hat here, this is not a permanent situation for you to be in. You are meant to pull yourself from that situation, okay? Um, so let's move into the Oracle cards because so far this is this is taking the message a little bit further and I like to see that. Um, two cards came through in the Wild Unknown archetype for you guys. You had the Desert and the Shapeshifter. So, as you'll notice here, with the Desert, there is this hand that's reaching up through the sand. It reminds me of that symbol I just showed you there. This process of, like, reaching up or trying to breach the surface of whatever the Desert is representing here. So the Desert card this energy there is um there is difficulty in continuing to go through this desert here the desert's not an easy place to be in it is barren there is no life but it's also something where we got to get through it we have to get through this desert with the shapeshifter that came through on this i i did have the message of mirage like you know you can start hallucinating here in the desert the way that I took that, whatever this desert is you guys are in, maybe it's a lack of connection. Um, having Dionysus come through there, I am getting this feeling of like, I remember a time when I used to have fun, you know? <laughs> I remember when I used to party. And it's not an encouragement to go into an area of excess, but I am getting the message that they're, you're on the other end of this. No fun, no pleasure, no ecstasy, maybe no wine, I don't know. Um, this is feeling off balance, okay? So with the shapeshifter coming through, this is an energy of well, illusion, deceit. Um, being 15, it is also connected to the devil card. And I did get a new deck I'm going to be using here, you guys, the Crow's Tarot. As I was pulling it out, there was a card that was stuck in the box. And it was also the devil. Of course it was. So 
being in the shadow here too. Something that is unseen. I actually saw the unseen card as I was shuffling the archetype deck as well. Maybe you're feeling unseen. There are components of yourself that are feeling unseen by you. So there's a need to get through this desert, to not get stuck on maybe something that is illusory, okay? Is casting an illusion. Okay, let's get into this. Um, we're going to pull a Wild Unknown Animal Spirit card for you here as well. And then we'll get into the tarot. All right, what do we have here for Libra? Please, Spirit. Additional messages for Libra at this time. Oh, the tiger. Ooh, two. Okay, okay. Unicorn here at the bottom. Love to see that. So third eye chakra. Um, I, I feel like you guys are going through this process of trying to break through any illusion. Any illusion that was programmed in you, that is just a part of this experience that you have put yourself under as well. I'm getting this vibe that you're just kind of tired of the bullshit, right? 619 on the timer stands out. Something is not working anymore and, may, and you're starting to get wise towards something that is an illusion. <clears throat> so the tiger and the octopus come through here for your cards. Um, the tiger here will start. This is a divine feminine energy. It is a lunar force kind of energy. And as we are happy eclipse season as well, yesterday was the partial eclipse in Pisces with the supermoon. So... Happy all of that, y'all. Um, this I like to see this come through, nodding to that situation. Um, something breaking through illusion-wise as far as emotions go. The tiger here hunts at night. Any of the sounds that you may hear in the night, in the shadow, with the devil there. Um, need not, you need not be afraid of what is in the shadow. All that is lurking in the shadow is your power, your potential power. What we start to assimilate inside of our shadow becomes a part of our power in the light as well. We cannot, we cannot excise the shadow. It's never, ever going to happen. So that's what I'm getting here. You're going through maybe a dark night even where things are coming up and you're trying to sift through to decide what you do with this. Okay. You're not going to throw it away because that's not possible, like I said, but to not be afraid of it either. With the octopus coming through, this is a card of boundaries. So boundaries with others, um, share, maybe oversharing with you, maybe you oversharing with others. There is uh, trauma dumping that's a part of the octopus card as well. And the last several readings that I've done for you guys, um, I am going to do an all signs here soon as well. So keep your eye out for that. It'd be interesting to go into this a little further, but... Um, there has been this message of something coming up that wasn't fair, that wasn't uh, okay even, you know, from the past that you may, be, you may be trying to avoid. This is really feeling like it's starting to bubble up. It's not going to go away. Like I said, any of our shadows not going to go away. We got to deal with it at some point. So you're being cautioned here on um, who, what, where, why, and how you share things. Not to not share, but... Uh, we're not trauma dumping on people in the grocery store, right? We're asking people if they are in a place where they can hold space for us. If they have the mental, physical, emotional, spiritual energy to hold space for us as we talk about things, okay? But this is feeling important. You need to talk to somebody, okay, to help you get through this. Okay, let's get into your tarot messages here. So I am going to start with, you do want to start with Crow, okay. We're going to start with the Crow Tarot here. Phantasma is the other deck we're going to use for you. So, Spirit, what do we have here for Libra at this time? Whoa. <laughs> okay, two just uh, fell out here. Justice, first of all. Justice and King of Swords. So, Justice is your card. Um, and Queen of Swords here at the bottom, too. There's some truth of some sort coming forward here. Holy moly. Uh, as I have been saying this, with something coming through in the dark, this... Something from the past, you guys, some sort of a form of abuse, um, some injustice that has left an imprint on you. With both the king and queen of swords coming forward there, having the desert, the darkness here, the shapeshifter, the truth is coming forward. And this feels like 
something that you have not been able to be truthful with yourself over. Like as an example, um, let's see, somebody causing harm to you in the past in some way. Maybe somebody was physical with you, right? Like it was battery and assault. I don't know. And this whole time you've been telling yourself like, ah, it wasn't a big deal. It's fine. I'm fine. You know, this or that, blah, blah, blah. There's something about pushing that away. There hasn't been a moment where you've been able to validate your own experience in that, what actually happened, how you actually felt so that you can move forward and heal. Both that King and Queen of Swords, the master of masters of the truth coming forward to help lead the truth forward for you and having <clears throat> having justice there as well. And where did justice go? Whoop. Yeah, justice there as well. Emperor, actually, it was right underneath that too. Taking your power back. This is a time where things are, are being illuminated to you so that they can be balanced. You know that, and there's the moon there on both the tiger and that. You're reaching for what is in the dark. And this is being done instinctively. Maybe some of you are aware that there's something there you're reaching for. There's a lot of support here is what I'm trying to say in getting you guys to your factory settings. You are justice, the justice card as well. So you're being highlighted in this reading. Your higher self is wanting you to see this. Your one is wanting you to see this message. This is an important one for you. Okay, so what do we have here for Libra, please, Spirit? I'll go a little further. Huge shout out to my channel members, you guys. Hello, hello. If you guys are interested in becoming a channel member yourself, you can check that out in the description of this video. There's a link or a join button next to the subscribe button. You can hit that too if you haven't already. Which you do on this one, okay. I do have personal readings open and available too. You can check that out at my on my website. Um, description of the video here too. Okay, so two of cups here at the bottom to start. This is your hope, hopes and dreams. So connection, you guys. Two of cups here is um, the beginning of some sort of connection. Friendship, romantic relationship, business partnership. I feel like... There is an isolating experience going on right now for a lot of you, maybe all of you, with the desert here. Because as we're going through the desert, we're not doing that with, with anyone else. This is just us. I mean, our spirit team, we're always supported, but we're going through this on our own. So there could be some feelings of isolation or need to connect. Mm, interesting. With Dionysus coming through, too. Um, that excess, there, for some of you, there may be a connection issue. Um, like as we're talking about addiction, um, in my experience, learning various things, I go back to the mouse study that was done with the Coke water back in the seventies. It was redone here, I think in like 2014 in a more social setting since mice are social. And what they're finding is that cause all of our addiction understanding was based off of this mice and coke water thing they will go to it until they die but there was no other stimulation in the cage for the mouse so of course they're going to go to what has well stimulation to it just like us what they found in the newer study is that addiction may actually be a connection issue not like there are substances that are addictive but it really comes down to a lack of connection in some way if we're not getting stimulation or connection through friendship, family, work, everything that is required to feel safe and, and centered as a human being, we may start reaching out to other things, food, sex, gambling, toxic relationships, our own emotions. You see what I'm saying? So with the two of cups coming through here, I feel like some of you are either aware of this, you need this connection, or there is this feeling that you're getting too, that there's a need for connection, okay? outside of maybe what you are struggling with um, in any other sort of addiction. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. So second deck here, we've got the Phantasma for you. Um, Spirit, what do we have here for Libra? For Libra, Libra. This is a general message, you guys, so please keep that in mind. You're intelligent. Please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher if these messages are for you and leave the rest behind if it's not. Um, check out any other major placements in your chart as well. Woo! The emperor here is standing out as well as the fool. Um, we are, we do have every component, every 
sign in or chart is what I was trying to say. It just depends on which house. So feel free to check that out as well if you'd like a little bit more information on what's going on for you. <laughs> I'm mixing these all up in different directions here. Cool. One second. Yeah, maybe you guys are feeling a bit discombobulated as well. Wasn't feeling this way prior, but here we are. Here we are. Okay. Libra's message, please. So six of pentacles here at the bottom, your fear aversion. This is um, our give and take flow from inside to outside. So it does feel like if this is you where something is coming up from the past that's needing to be seen or dressed by you, that component is affecting your ability to give and take in a healthy way. And this feels more like um, the receiving end of things, having more of the feminine energy come through divine feminine. This can also symbolize um, like a counselor. So there could be a fear aversion to re receiving help, mental health help in that way. Okay, let's get into this. So general energy here to start, you guys have four of swords. Four of swords is about rest, recharge, relaxation, healing of the heart. There's this component of licking the wounds here that's a part of this too. So I'm, I'm kind of drawn back to maybe some of you are struggling with a substance issue. And it doesn't have to just be an exterior substance, like I said. Emotions, toxic relationships, we can get connected to anything. This is requesting a rest though. To truly be able to rest and recharge to heal whatever's happened to the heart here for you guys. Okay. Three of Swords, my goodness. Three of Swords here to clarify this. Yeah, this is something that hurt the heart, you guys. Having the three and four here, I feel like there is this, this vacillation here between the two. You have been working to move forward in some way to experience something else, but this keeps pulling you back into the darkness. And as you come into the darkness... There's the shapeshifter here, which I feel is kind of like the ego. The ego is trying to protect whatever this is that's trying to come up. Because it feels safer to not experience it, right? But that's counterproductive and intuitive because going through and experiencing something intentionally with a, with a counselor um, in a way where healing is the intention, we need to go, we go back through it and we can actually heal it. Yeah, with the octopus too. I feel like some of you really could benefit from a counselor, okay? Anything else here on the general for Libra, please, spirit? Deception. False illusion, scarcity mentality, and falling into bad habits. R resolving issues, solving inner conflict with others, healing past trauma. Yo. <laughs> yeah. So far here, I feel like we're right on track. Deception here with the shapeshifter, with the devil. This feels like ego, okay? Like I said, we all have a shadow. It's not going anywhere. We can't just throw away what we consider to be sinful or a bad habit. It is a part of being human. And learning to accept those components of ourselves. We don't have to follow through on every thought that comes through to us, okay? Just because the human brain experiences a thought or we experience an emotion does not mean that that's who we are, okay? If that's helpful for you as you're navigating the shadow, just because your brain says something that you're like, holy shit, that makes me a terrible person. No, 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 no. Okay. The human brain does some weird shit. And I promise you, it's way more normal than you think for people to have some insane kind of thoughts. It's not really insane to have the thought. What is insane is to act on it. Okay. <laughs> so just for someone there, I feel like that needs to be said. This illusion, the scarcity mentality falling into bad habits, I feel like there's this avoidance of what is coming through in the shadow. And that's causing you maybe to fall into uh, old addictions, bad habits that are here to help you avoid that experience. But you got to go through it. Okay, good stuff here. Let's move into what the good stuff here for you at this time. Ace of Pentacles to start. So new opportunities, you guys. There could be some money coming forward for somebody, a new job opportunity if you're looking for those sorts of things uh, this feels more like just a new lease on life 
a new chance to experience things here in the physical realm. This could be a job, living situation, you know, where wherever you are living, um, any of that money coming in, like I said. This feels like a chance to change something here in the physical realm, though. Could be to do with, with Dionysus coming through um, excess, what you may be struggling with excess-wise. Let's go a little further into this. Eight of Swords here. Yay! In your good stuff. So Eight of Swords is a trap, feeling trapped, feeling stuck. It's a trap of the mind. As an air sign here, Libra, you would understand this is a very Gemini energy where we sit and spin and think about something over and over again until we feel trapped and feel like that's our only experience too. I'm brought back to the desert here. This vacillation between the three and four of swords. The way through this situation, Ace of Pentacles here too in the standard Rider Waite deck, there's a, a garden gate, like a path that's showing you the way through the gate here. So I feel like you guys are really being supported, like I said earlier, to find your way through something. What has been feeling or making you feel stuck and trapped? The illusion of that, because eight of, this is an illusion too. It's not, it's not really that you're trapped. There is a way through this. Anything else on this, please, for my Libra friends? The good stuff. Eight of Swords and Ace of Pentacles. Rest, hey. Listen to your body mentally and physically unwind. So back to the Four of Swords here that you had in your general. I feel like sacrifice giving up something now for a future reward. I see this a lot image-wise uh, with a Chinese finger trap. The more that we struggle against it or put pressure on that, the more we are stuck, the more trapped we are. But when we rest, when we give it a rest or concede even to come in further, we're able to break free from this. So having rest come through a couple times here, what I'm feeling is, um, and the divine feminine force with the tiger, there is a need to go into a receptive state. This is not happening when we're taking advantage of divine masculine energy, which is action, putting things forward. It doesn't feel like this is a time or situation for you guys where it's about the pursuit. I'm going to try this next. I'm going to try this next. Like, uh, there's a place for that. This does not feel like that place. Outside of maybe looking for a counselor, that kind of action, this is more you're being asked to go into a receptive state. To even address the boundaries with yourself here, 2244 on the timer stands out. Okay, let's keep going. What you don't see coming or what's in the dark at this time. Eight of Pentacles. Work. <laughs> this is putting work into something. It can sig signify work, passion that you put towards your work. What you don't see right now coming or in the dark in general is the work that is needed to get through this. Like I was just saying, it's not a divine masculine action right now. Not saying stop those, like exercising, breaking a sweat, all important for our health too, and moving energies through. But the work that um, you're being asked to see here is more in a receptive state. Being introspective, going inside, right, Libra? Looking for signs and symptoms from inside rather than trying to adjust everything from the outside. I love this crow deck. I love it. Five of Swords comes in here to clarify this next. So Five of Swords is a uh, battle, it's fighting for the sake of fighting. Nobody wins in this kind of situation. It's an extreme pissing match, right? <laughs> Where harm can and will be caused. Having this be in the dark, what you don't see coming, there's a request here for you guys to watch uh, combativeness, to watch um, the fight. The fight is a divine masculine energy. And like I said, there's a time and place for that. I'm not saying we're not getting rid of either energy. We need them both. Anima, animus, it's all a part of who we are. But um, you're being asked to stop action, like I said. If something is feeling like a fight, then it's not for you at this time. That is not the way through for you to heal, okay? Anything else here in the dark, 2442 stands out on the timer as well. Advice on this for Libra. Spread your wings. Confidence that leads to freedom and growth. Embrace as well. Find peace with your current state of being. Like I was saying, fighting something. Very strongly, this message is coming through. You're being asked to turn inward. 
to see something and to allow something to be, to allow yourself to be. Okay, so your obstacle at this time, difficulty right now, you have Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is about releasing something. It's also this encouragement to, to finish up a journey, like allowing the energy to take you to the end of a journey. You're almost there, keep going. I do feel more for more of you right now. This is this is about letting a burden go. Something that's weighing heavy on the heart. And we've been talking about this healing of the heart too. Something needs to be released. Maybe it's your control. Maybe it's your perception because of the shapeshifter here, the ego. Um, maybe you have a perception towards yourself that like, this is stupid that I feel this way is kind of the vibe I'm getting. <clears throat> as my throat closes up. Hmm? Maybe this is what needs to be spoken for yourself. To yourself, maybe to somebody else. Releasing yourself from the burden of being a burden, maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe you do feel like a burden right now. You're not. You deserve help just like any anybody else here. Allowing yourself to be walked home. Mm-hmm. Yeah, receiving help seems to be a difficult thing for you right now, Libra. So the sun comes in to clarify your uh, obstacle at this time. Positivity, joy, abundance. This is also the solar force is going to be more of a divine masculine energy. This is about action. So again, brought back to you may be trying to... Uh, <laughs> you're putting out a fire with the wrong chemical is kind of what I'm getting. You have a fever. <laughs> and the only cure is more cowbell, okay? Not um, whatever else. <laughs> and the cowbell is this divine feminine energy. You may be trying to push towards joy, happiness, abundance. Maybe this energy is covering up everything else that's going on. And that just doesn't last. It simply doesn't. Happiness is not a permanent state of being either. We are looking for essentially net neutrality. We're looking for peace. That's where our home resides in the center. We can experience the emotions outside of that happiness, sorrow, as it do happen, and it will. But this feels more like a push to only experience the sun. Nope, moon's not there. Nope, nope. Just the sun. I'm good. I'm always good. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Um, let's go ahead and pull a blue angel oracle here to close out this message. And I am going to go into an extended, you guys. We'll look at this a little bit further, but I do ask direct uh, messages from your higher self. We look at love and advice, career and advice, and what is most likely being manifested for you based on your thoughts and emotions right now and advice towards that, okay? So, Spirit, what do we have here for Libra? Last portion of this message for Libra. What does Libra need to know this time? Enlightenment. I'm going to read this from the book here. Un memento, por favor. Liberation. <laughs> like Libra. Look at you. There is no need to hide behind a, there's no need to hide behind a persona that you think others will find more acceptable. Boom. I feel like that's all of it. That's what I'm talking about with the sun here. This is like a persona. I must be this bubbly, bright, sunny, happy disposition. No, nope. you don't need to do that, actually, for anybody. Uh, the real you is far more beautiful. You are not your personality, nor your job, qualifications, or achievements. You are not your successes or failures or any other earthly thing. Who you are is far more noble and precious than anything you can possibly imagine. Imagine yourself surrounded by a warm and gentle rose quartz light. Feel yourself bathed in this healing energy until you imagine nothing but light. Let yourself be free of the restrictions you have placed upon yourself. You are a beautiful soul, perfect just as you are. So let your inner light shine through. It is time to free yourself from the illusion, oh my God, that prevents you from being all that you can be. Yep, 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 yep. I'm as bad as the worst, but thank God I'm as good as the best, Walt Whitman. You guys, Libra. <laughs> I feel like this is pretty clear, okay? Ultimately, the persona, the mask, doesn't need to maybe be gone completely, but you need to at least take it off for yourself. You have to pull yourself out of this hat the darkness, so that you can see yourself clearly to be able to liberate yourself in this way. 
All right, I love you, Libra. Thank you guys so much for joining me here. I'm gonna move into the extended, like I said. Links are in the description here if you wanna check that out. I do have them for sale individually as well as on the third tier of membership if you'd like to have access to all of them. Again, readings are open and available. You can check out my website while you're in the description too. And if this message did resonate with you, please consider liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, hit that notification bell. All great ways to support me in the growth of this channel and I truly appreciate it, you guys. It would not be possible without you. If this reading did resonate with you, I do also have my Cash App and PayPal links in the description if you feel called to tip or donate. I will certainly accept that. It's not mandatory, but to those who do support the channel in that way, thank you, thank you so much. It goes a long way. And again, I couldn't do this without you. Okay, everybody, please take care of yourself. My Libra friends, I will see you all very soon. Be well.